Today we are going to review the defense in paddle in less than 10 minutes. Come on! Mauri, first tip, basic for defense in paddle, please. Defensive paddle. We got to consider always that defending in paddle doesn't mean that you are at the back only. But the defensive position when you play at the back, I always consider um, to be in between the service line and the back row. All right. This might be for a few reasons. Yeah. If you are too close to the back row, what is going to happen is that the rebound of the back row can happen at peace. It will be very quick. So if you are close to it, it will do this, and then it's going to be late to reach the shop. If you are slightly further away and closer to the service line, unless you are Sanjo Gutierrez, yes, then you can play from here easily. Any shot that will come there, you will be end up doing this. Instead of, for example, if you were here, you can reach the ball before. And if the ball bounces behind, you can reach the ball of the back row. So this is the first tip to consider. The position, yeah, always. No Some close to the line no close to the back wall. It will depend also the match that you are playing. How are the volleys of those opponents? Are deeper usually, are closer? Well, then you will decide either to stay or here or here. But never here and never that close to the line. This All is right. the first tip. Tip number two will be the back position when you're defending in this way, you will end up or uh, moving a little bit closer to the middle or to the corner depending on where, where the, ball the ball is coming is. from. If the ball is coming from in parallel, then you will end up doing this because it doesn't make sense to cover this because they can play naturally easy to this area. Yeah? So you cover a little bit more here or more there. But have a look on the feet. This is the important thing. The ball is coming in parallel, the ball is coming cross court. Because usually people are defending balls cross court, the ball is coming cross court in this way. Yeah. And then it ends up that your backhand is correct. Yeah, because you impact the ball in front. It's nice. But what about the forehand? It's behind because you are facing in parallel when you should be facing Cross court. So the ball is, is cross court. You're gonna hit the ball cross court. Boom. You're gonna hit the ball in parallel. Boom. boom. This is the second tip. The more advanced something becomes is because the amount of time available on the decision is it's shorter. Like so I, because it's shorter, then you, you got to decide something quick. So I will always consider, you know, if the ball bounces in front of the line. In front of the line. Yes, I will try to go for a direct shot, like a forehand or backhand. Mm -hmm. Maybe the ball bounces, it's not a rule. It doesn't work in that way always. Sometimes it doesn't. But usually, because the distance between you and the player who is at the net, if the player who is at the net is at the right net position, which is around 3.5 meters away from the net, will allow you to make this shot better than letting the ball bounce rebound and perhaps the ball dying off the back wall because the ball is not reaching the back wall properly, you know, yeah. with time, with, with power. Speed, with it, yeah, yeah. 100%. And if the ball is bouncing behind the line, then I will consider straight away to prepare the shot straight away to go off the back wall. Prepare the racket. The racket has to be ready, yeah? Catch the fly. What happens when a tennis player start playing paddle? Today is better for them to do this than playing off the back wall because they're not good at the back yeah. wall. But if they carry on doing this, when the level improves slightly more, they, they will have a limit, Th that's it. Yeah. There is no more, there is more, no more paddle for that tennis player. Unless they start using the backwards, they go a little bit lower in the level they play today, and perhaps in two months, three months, Make two, one year, three, four steps they can forward. do many yeah. different decisions just because they got slightly more time. And the world has already done the job of stopping the ball and giving back to and you. And you get more control, you so gain control. So you can control. either go for a chiquita, for a love, for a winner, with a shot that is, is hidden, it's a shot that they don't know what you're going to do. Mauri, can you be my coach and do a, like an exam of the decision making of me? 100%. We're yeah. going to do it. Now, one more thing. If I play in parallel or cross court, doesn't matter if I play low, then this rule that the ball bounces in front, you go direct, and if the ball bounces behind, if it's cross court, it's side goal. If it's to the middle of the back goal. But if you do a low and the ball is coming from a bandeja, then it's a different story. Then it will depend on the amount of power the ball brings. Mm -hmm. If the ball brings a little bit more power, it doesn't matter that the ball bounces in front of the line. You will let the ball rebound because it will give you enough time to go for a winner or to a chiquita or for a love. So now we go for the test. Let's go. Vamos. Pa. Nico, go for it. Okay. Nice, quicker preparation. Hey, <laughs> that was before. The ball bounces very in front of the line. Nice. Off the back one. Quick preparation. Quick preparation. No, that was before. Hey. That is behind. Okay, that makes sense. That's before. Hey, now we're talking. Off the back wall. 
Very good. Before, quicker preparation. Okay, give me a second now, and go after this. So, now you're defending. And at the, play you, at the level you play, you're not gonna defend here. Mm. Usually you will end up defending here. So, if you open your racket that much, like this, what's gonna happen that you have, do you have time when the ball rebounds here? Do you have time? Not, not really. always, yeah, yeah. Not really. So, because you don't have time, if you prepare longer, once you want to contact the ball, you point me where you want, where you want to contact the ball. If you prepare here, where you want to contact the ball of the backboard? Here no. or there? There. There. So from here to nah. here is too long. Yeah. So you need to accompany and stay with the ball there in order to impact the ball when you're ready. All right. You follow me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need this instead of this. Vale. Vamos? Okay. Let's try. Lower shot. Low. <laughs> still, still. Okay, okay, we're gonna go to something. Go here. <laughs> no, 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 yes, yes. There, stay there. Oh, like this, yes, nice, stay there. Play, play the shot of the back one. Wait, forward. Now we're talking. Vamos again, put the racket low. Stay there. Hey, don't cheat me. No, he's cheating me. Yes, you got to touch the, the, the ground and, and, yes, exactly, stay there. Ba. Go. Now we're talking, did you feel the shot? Yeah. Okay, go again. No, 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 no. Vamos. Okay, okay, one it has to, It has to be painful. No pain, no gain. Forward. Beautiful. Now it's a matter of practicing and controlling. But I promise you that from here, which two shots you can do? Lob and chiquita. And which is the difference between those shots? That one is very close to the net, the other one is very at the back. So you are giving to your opponent two no information. Level. Two different options. Different level. Yes? Ten more balls? Ten yeah. more balls? Yes? To see if he's going to impact the ball. Or before, or off the back one. Bah! Before. Nice of the back wall. Very good. Of the back wall. Very good. Before. Okay, don't go backwards when you're gonna hit. You're hitting like this. Boom, ready. Ready position. Lower. Lower your feet. Lower your knees. Bend your knees. Nice. You're defending. You want to be a pro? Defend like a pro. Nice. Low. Yes, quick preparation. Very nice. Again, vamos. Carry on. Don't expect the backhand all the time. Very good. Give me two more. Bam. One. Vamos. Before. Ay. Okay. Okay. It's not bad. You are doing an amazing job. I think you decided much better now. Yes, sometimes what, you, what it happens is that you play the shot and you go back here. And then most of the shot at the level you play, Pablo, already, men will be from here and lower. Yeah. If it's complete beginner or someone who is, then it, the ball could come here. They will hit the ball from I high to low. I feel the pain in my ass. Yeah, this is actually what happens with some of the shots of the back one. Mauri, I think it's enough. My ass is <laughs> breaking me. Uh, different level, as always. Hello, Padel Academy. Yes, you are different level. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Mauri. Thank you.